Hi friends. Today we are doing a dish that can be either a side dish for your main entree, like a fish or a chicken or steak or anything like that, or it can be a full meal. So we're doing uh, roasted root veggies today. Now, all my recipes for January are using grounding ingredients. So root vegetables are grounding ingredients as are green beans and carrots. So uh, I'm gonna be doing a uh, roasted vegetables and then really the roasted vegetables are just a vessel for the sauces that we're gonna make. So we're getting our grounding ingredients and we're getting our vitamins from our veggies and then we're gonna make two completely different and awesome and delicious sauces to go with it. So. You can whip up a big batch of these veggies and then you can use them different ways throughout the week, switch it up with the sauces so it's super versatile. I'll show you guys. So in here, I have a few carrots that I uh, chopped up. You don't even have to peel your carrots if you don't want to, that's up to you. Just everything about bite size is perfect. Um, I did a large russet potato, I did a few carrots and I did turnip roots. So. There's these weird little guys here. Um, for the root veggies, you can really use anything that you want. This is a really good time to kind of try new veggies that you don't normally buy. Like when you go to the veggie section and there's all those weird things that you are not really sure. <laughs> um, roasting veggies, I mean, they're always coming out super delicious. So this is a good time to try. Um, turnip roots uh, kind of taste a little bit like a radish. They're kind of a little bit bitter, a little spicy. They're really good when you roast them. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys. This, it comes like this, I just wanted to show you. Um, you just wanna chop up. You can also use a vegetable peeler if you want on this guy, but it's just, just white inside. So I like to cut off the top and then you can just go ahead and peel. If, um, these are a little bit smaller. Sometimes they have bigger ones and they have thick skin, so it's better to use a paring knife so you can get most more of the edge off. But um, if not, you can just use a vegetable peeler. It's totally fine. So I just lined this, I have my sheet here lined with parchment paper, which you don't have to. You can just do right on there. It's just easier for cleanup, you know. So uh, I have all my veggies in here, just a little bit. I'm gonna start with just a few, just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. So you don't wanna like soak them, you just wanna kinda Gently coat them so all the seasonings mix. Now, um, I'm just doing this. This is like an all-purpose seasoning that I use all the time. Chef Marito. I got this on Amazon. My dad introduced me to this, and it's amazing, especially on potatoes. It's amazing on anything, really. But So I'm not going to add any extra salt because this mix does have salt in it. So I'm just going to add maybe like a good tablespoon of that and some fresh cracked pepper. And... I used to, I like to go heavy on the pepper. I used to not like fresh cracked pepper. I was like, this is too intense. I don't know about this pepper. And now I'm obsessed with it. So, take that for what you will. But we're just doing a little simple seasoning. I'm gonna just stir this up and I'm going to throw it on my baking sheet here. Now, like I said, I do have um, green beans that I'm just gonna put uh, the same, just a little bit of um, little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil on there. I'm going to, this needs about 25 minutes to, to roast. So I'm gonna put these in for 15 minutes. I'm gonna take them out and just toss them around just for a minute and then I'm gonna add in the, the green beans for about 10 minutes. Now, if you wanna throw it all in there together, that's fine. I just, for me, I prefer when my green beans are a little crispier so I don't wanna cook them too long. So I'm just gonna, add them in towards the end. So, and you wanna make sure that you have a nice big tray so you can spread all these guys out. So I'll make sure they're extra crispy that way. If you put too many on the tray, then they just kind of steam and they don't really roast. So, spread these guys out, make sure they got space. Okay, so, 425, I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes so I can take these out, toss them, and then add these guys. And then while these are cooking, I'm gonna show you guys these two sauces. Okay, so the first sauce that we are doing for our roasted veggies is a lemon tahini sauce. And starts with the tahini. So tahini is like a, is a sesame paste. If you can find it in the shaker, it's amazing. I think I got this at Walmart actually. It's just shake it up and then it has a squeeze bottle. So it's like super convenient <laughs> for measuring. Um, so we're gonna do, I'm just gonna eyeball about like 
you know, three tablespoons, three tablespoons of this. A little bit of garlic. Do you see how I like to make everything convenient? It's just in a little bottle that I <laughs> just squeeze it right in there. I would say about like a good teaspoon um, of garlic. If you have actual garlic, maybe like one clove chopped up or two, depending if you love garlic. That's your call. Um, we're gonna do the zest of a lemon. And I love lemon zest. When you add lemon zest, it's like lemon flavor times a thousand. It's awesome. So the zest of one lemon in there, the juice of one lemon, And this sauce is really good with the veggies, but it also is good, you know, just as like a salad dressing if you wanted to. It's just good, basically. So, do the juice here. And then I chopped up a little bit of parsley. So a few good tablespoons of parsley. Bam, right in there. All right. Let me move this over so I can show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it up. Now, it's hard to see because I don't have a clear bowl, but this is kind of like thick, right? So we have here a little bit of hot water. So this is gonna thin it out. So basically you just wanna start with, you know, just put in a little splash of water, stir it up until you get to the consistency that you want. You just want like a nice, you know, a nice smooth sauce, silky. So just do a little bit at a time. You might only need a little bit. If you want a thicker sauce, just a little tiny splash is good. The warm water just helps it mix in faster. But if you like a thinner sauce, go with a little bit more water. But see already that is just, and you just want it so that it can, you can just like drizzle it right over the, the veggies. So actually, I think this is good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt here. Taste it and see where we're at. Let's see. This is mine so I can put my finger in it. Mmm. So good. The combo is really good. It's like nutty from the tahini and then tangy from the from the lemon. Mm. Okay, this is good. Lemon tahini sauce, number one. And now I have a romesco sauce for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to make right now. Okay, sauce number two, romesco sauce. So this is a almond and red pepper based sauce. Now you start with roasted red peppers. If you want, you can certainly take a fresh red pepper and roast it and then add it in here. But why would you create extra work for yourself when they're already jarred? <laughs> so uh, this is a 12 ounce jar. Now I am making this, this is gonna make just over a cup of sauce. Um, I'm making extra because the sauce is really good. Uh, it's super good on fish and it's also really good with um, just raw veggies, you know, to dip in there. Now, you can always cut it in half if you only want a little bit, but it keeps for a while in the fridge, so it's good to have. Now, um, I'm gonna start with almonds. Don't get the almonds with the skin. So these are just blanched almonds. You can get raw almonds. Um, start with no salt, okay? If you have a small food processor, that's perfect. I have a large one, but I'm using a little insert in here because I guess I'm only gonna make about a cup or so of sauce. So I'm just gonna pulse these real quick. start getting them chopped. Okay, now adding my jar. I did drain, this comes with juice, so I drained it. So if a little juice gets in, that's totally fine. But I might have to help it because there's usually like bigger chunks in here. If, like I said, if you wanna do fresh peppers, that's fine and roast your own. Um, you're gonna need maybe like two if you're gonna do this amount. Okay. It goes in there. I did not grab a towel. Okay. <coughs> That's done. That's done. Now, a little bit of garlic. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go actually, not a little bit, I'm gonna do maybe like a good tablespoon or so. So probably like three or four cloves because this is like a really bold sauce, I would say. Um, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons. I have red wine vinegar, whatever you have, red wine, white wine, rice vinegar, whatever, whatever you got. So about one tablespoon and two. I like to go a little heavier because I love vinegar. I love the tang. Paprika, about, I would say, half a teaspoon. So just a little bit. I've smoked pap paprika. A little smokier flavor. So just a little dash. And this sauce is just to taste. So I'm not using exact measurements here. <laughs> you know, sorry if that bothers these guys. But I will write down all the measurements ish that I use so you guys can have something to go off of. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of salt and um, I'm gonna actually blend this up first and then we'll stream in some elbow. So I have about a third of a cup here. So um, you just wanna go until you get the consistency that you want, a little thicker, less, a little thinner, more. All right. Let's see. Mmm, 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 mmm. Really good. Add the red peppers. You take in the vinegar, you taste the garlic. Okay, this is a good one. Now, I'm going to try and hold on this and pour this out for you guys. It's like a little bit chunky, which is what you want. Added texture. Okay, so we have our beautiful root roasted veggies with carrots and green beans. These are 25 minutes, so 15 minutes for the carrots and the potatoes and the turnip roots that I used. And then in the last 10 minutes, I tossed it and then added the green beans. So you can use whatever combination of vegetables that you want to roast. So that is up to you. If you just wanted to do potatoes, potatoes, sweet potatoes, whatever, your call. So we have our two sauces. We have the romesco sauce and our lemon tahini sauce. So now my favorite part, we get to eat. So just gonna try a little bit of each one. And this is where like, I mean, I love sauces. So this is where you can get creative. Like do one sauce, do two, mix them together, switch it up. That way you can feel like you're having something different every day, even though you made one dish. Why not? Mm. Okay. First of all, look at this. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay. I gotta go for this turnip with the romesco. Mmm. 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 Okay, I love vegetables, especially roasted vegetables. So I'm gonna be like a huge plate of these. <laughs> but like I said, you can make this a meal if you want to. I could have added some chickpeas in here. You can eat it just like this. You can put it over greens or lentils or rice, whatever you want. So good. That romesco sauce is kind of a little bit chunky still. So it's got the crunch from the almonds and it's tangy. So it mixes good with the potatoes. Mm. That lemon tahini is so good, you guys. You have to make it. Oh my gosh. That'll be good on chicken too. I don't need a lot of meat, but I don't love anything with lemon. It's awesome on these carrots. And then you mix them together. That's the fun part about it. Eat whatever you want. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is good. <laughs> I'm all about the sauces. It just takes it to a whole other level, like layers of flavor and more and more. And that's so awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna put all of the ingredients that I use and all the recipes in here. So I hope you guys try this. Let me know what combo you come up with because I wanna try this too. So enjoy.